Hey guys, Rochelle here with Amethyst Ascension, and today we are going to be discussing another one of the eight clear senses, and this time it's clear tangency, which is about touch, clear touch. You may have clear tangency, clear touching, if you have the ability to perceive facts about an event or a person by contact with or a proximity to an object or person. This is also commonly known as psychometry. You may be clear tangent if you clear tangent, sorry, if you quickly gain formerly unknown insights when you hold someone's watch, touch their hand, when you pick up an old antique at a flea market, or touch an old building. And here are some are you clear tangent? You might be clear tangent if any of the following apply to you. You feel overwhelmed and uncomfortable in cluttered places. Even if you aren't usually claustrophobic, you could be picking up on the vibrations coming from so many different objects gathered in one place. This also may be why some people can't bear it when their homes become cluttered and untidy. Restoring order seems to calm the energy of a room. You cannot bear secondhand stores, whether it be a thrift store, antique market, auctioneers, or even a garage sale. Those competing, clamoring vibrations make you feel quite queasy. Love those things. You can locate missing objects quickly. You can't explain why, but you instinctively know where you lost an item or where it's lurking. If you've ever entered a pawn shop or one of those payday loan cash for items premises and felt a need to leave as quickly as possible, these places are repositories for negative emotions as people who use them are usually in desperate circumstances. Museums are not deadly dull to you. The energy emanated by some objects thrill and attract or repel you. Museums are not quite the same as other places where old items are stored because of their calm atmosphere and also because there is plenty of space. So vibrations are not competing with each other. Do you feel you need to take a shower after spending time in a particular place, even though you might have, might not have touched anything? It feels as if it's disturbing energies are clinging to you. You've purchased an item and immediately feel that you have to pass it on or throw it away. It's simply too icky feeling to use or wear. Now, ways that it says that you can develop uh, psychometric or clairtangent abilities. It is highly possible that you can improve your clairtangent abilities by only practicing frequently. Ask someone to let you hold an object that belongs to a third person and write down or record any impressions that you receive. It's best to do this on your own and to take your time as having another person's pre present can hinder you in the beginning. A fun method of developing your clear tangent skills is to have an experimental psychometric party with a group of friends. Each person brings along a personal object, which is placed in a bag by a referee, someone who is not taking part, preferably out of sight in another room. All of the bags should be identical. It doesn't matter if the object itself can be identified. That's not the aim of the game. Each participant chooses or is given a bag, closes their eyes, and after a few minutes, they describe their feelings and thoughts as they handle the object. Hmm. They are then asked if they can identify who the object belongs to. It's, surpri it's surprising how often the participants are accurate. Clairtangency is a good place to start when learning any psychic skill. If you can pick up and recognize vibrational energies, which ladies and men, we do this a lot with our uh, um, crystals, right? From an object by touch, after a while, you'll be able to do it without touching. This, in turn, helps you pick up energy from people and places. When you feel confident with psychometry, you can progress 
to being a full-fledged medium. The information that I received was from wisdomwithin.co and psychicelements.com, and I will put the links down below. So does uh, Claire Tangency sound like something that you might have? Do you feel the vibrations and items, or do you get certain feelings from or visions or knowing from touching an object? So I hope that you have... Uh, I'd like to hear your comments, too, down below. On all of these, I'd love to hear your comments. I'd like to know who I'm talking to. And, you know, I love delving into other people's stories uh, and connecting with people. So, I hope you like this video. If so, give me a like. Hit that subscribe if you haven't already. And don't forget about the little notification bell so that you can... Uh, receive notifications of new videos and I'm wishing you always love and light. Thank you so much.